Yeah. Woo. All right, so right now this thing is just under 10 feet, which we're gonna make it into eight feet. Up here, we have about 13 inches all the way across, ranging from about 13 to 13 and a half, and then it flares down. It flares to about 14, 15, depending on where we are with the slab. And obviously, it's a tree and it's gonna grow however it wants, so you're never gonna get perfect lines. But we picked out the straightest, clearest slab that we possibly could to make this whole project easy. And it is gorgeous. This thing is gonna be sexy. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do it. All right, now that I got my ends all figured out and cut the size, I'm gonna remove the bark. And I use a soft wire wheel for that and just put it on the grinder and it works great. Now that our epoxies have all cured, it's time for everybody's favorite part, the sanding. Yeah, that's a total lie, guys. Everybody hates it. But this thing's gonna get some TLC, and then we're gonna put on Rubio Monaco, which is a fairly expensive finish, but if you're going for a one-step finish that's super hard and durable, you can't beat it. And I love the way it comes out, and it's gonna look so good, so let's jump right back in and uh, finish this thing up.
gonna try it. Not. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks so good! <gasps> I'm keeping it. I can't keep it. So there you go, the bench is done and it looks absolutely fantastic. It's eight feet long by 15 to 16 inches depending on where you measure from the slab and that's the beauty of the slab. It follows very natural lines and just makes it look all that much better. And the legs match perfectly. I was lucky enough to find a pair on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a link to that down below. Now making a live edge, whether it's a table or a bench like this, I believe is actually easier than making a table. You don't have to worry about any crazy glue ups or anything like that that you would have with a laminated piece and I think it just looks better. You have continuous grain everywhere and that live edge just makes it look all that much more interesting. So if you guys like this build and want to see more like it, let me know in the comments section below. I love hearing your guys' feedback and it just helps me get a lot better with these projects and with videos. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that because I post daily on the projects that I'm working, the processes that I'm going through with them, and I have a lot of fun down there. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. That way you actually get notified anytime I post anything new. And I have some really cool projects coming up that are gonna be very interesting. So I don't want you guys to miss out on those. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I will see you guys next time.